All right, y'all, this is just a short, quick message. I'm about to go to the gym. Of course, I'm continuing my journey as far as uh, juicing. I'm um, drinking water with lemon. And, of course, in the gym, staying consistent, especially in the morning. So, um, only thing I got to say to you guys today is, like, you know, let's keep up the good work. You know what I'm saying? If anybody tell you that you're doing a good job, you are. Um, if you feel like you're struggling, no worries. It's not going to last too long. It's only a moment in time. Retain your energy. Continue the good jobs, bro. Like, for real, everybody out there, I, I feel like the frequency low-key, even though, like, there's so much uh, stuff going on in the Matrix, I feel like low-key the frequency is starting to uh, get higher, not just for me, but for, like, other people that I'm seeing, you know, um, that's on the journey as well. So shout out, shout out to anybody who ever commented on any video that I posted. You know what I'm saying? If you commented, um, <clears throat> sharing your journey, letting the world know that this is a real thing that we all go through, you feel me? And sometimes, you know, we, we just need to have that space to kind of express ourselves and, and pretty much uh, encourage each other, you know what I'm saying, to do better. I'm excited. I feel like uh, I'm stepping into my prime. I know I was talking about uh, yesterday in my video. If you missed that, it, was a, it wasn't too long as usual. But um, <clears throat> I was talking about how you guys can um, tap into like a moment in time in your life when you was at your prime. Like when things was going good and uh, or even when you was a kid type shit. You know what I'm saying? Where you felt like you was on top of the world. You didn't have no worries. Tap into that energy, bro. Because you can still duplicate that energy and you can actually make your experience that much more greater being a, being an adult right now. Yo, it's just very, it's very important to, to maintain um, being on the journey, dog. Because you're going to look back one day, you're going to be like, damn, bro, like I really did that. You know what I'm saying? So again, you guys should be really, be really proud of yourselves when it comes to uh, anything in the matrix as far as temptations, as far as like some of the foods that are out there you know in general like i said bro you know happy life as far as like or happy trip on your life path or whatever you know what i'm saying like you're gonna make some mistakes sometimes we all make some some mistakes sometimes but like we always uh seem to be so resilient and uh we can bounce back with ease now one more thing i also want to say is tap into your superhuman computer Again, I repeat, tap into your superhuman computer. When you talk about the heart, right? For example, the heart is a, it, it, it's, from what I heard, it's not just, it's not just pumping blood through your, uh, through your system. You know what I'm saying? Your heart actually attracts, um, energy in a sense of like, in a, in a, um, an electricity type of way, if you get what I'm saying. Like, in other words, it's more so you're, you are, an electromagnetic being if you can get into your heart chakra you know how much things you can manifest in your life bro so simple and so easy you know based on how what type of vibration the heart is in it's going to determine whether or not people are going to be around you or not just like if you know somebody did something to one of your peoples in your heart when you see that somebody you're going to want to try to take them off the map or try to like you know what i'm saying try to fight them it's based on your heart vibration. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, once you know, once you start to tap into certain aspects of certain um, parts of your your body and your whole entire being, bro, like, again, you will be, you'll feel phenomenal. And just by knowing that knowledge, bro, you're, I, I feel like you can increase your, uh, your energy field. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has an energy field. Everybody gives off a uh, different uh, magnetic uh cells or whatnot so just tap in stay aware it's being boy moody star i'm definitely see you guys in the next video peace all right y'all understanding your dna makeup while you're on the spiritual journey while you're on the semen retention journey understanding that you have that guard particle is key and we're gonna talk about it mgt what to do it's your boy moody star and i'm back again with another video if you knew you already know what to do man become a subscriber like the video and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual while carrying this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, go within and being high vibrational here at MGT. This is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. So I decided to do the intro for the intro because when, when the hell was the last time I actually did the intro for the intro? I usually do it on the outro. So pretty much saying, you know, outro, outro today. But um, so yeah. 
currently, while I've been on my see my retention journey, since I've been on my spiritual journey, I realized a lot of things about, you know, being a guy and my DNA makeup and essentially possessing the God particle. Now, usually people, sometimes when they make YouTube videos, they'll be trying to like say magic words and shit to be like, oh, the God particle or supernatural human, this and that. And people do that shit. Sometimes it's clickbait, right? But when you actually think about it, bro, if you hold on to your energy long enough, seven to 30 days, it what literally happens within your body is like the rising of Christ consciousness. Okay, so when you have this rise of con Christ consciousness, a lot of freaky shit can happen. You can have the consciousness of Christ, but you attract a lot of shit. You attract different types of individuals, um, different types of um, situations in your life will actually pop up and you'll be like, all right, well, I'm in my higher self. I'm in my crown chakra. I'm in my Christ consciousness. So I can, I can handle this at a high level. You feel me? Because, you know, I'm in tune with myself. What happens, though, um, a lot of times it's like we tend to, I won't even say get big headed, but like, in a sense, kind of like get complacent, uh, complacent, complacent with where, where we're at. And we just feel like, you know, we can do no wrong. And then again, as humans, we fall. You know what I'm saying? This is why, you know, we, I feel like part of the reason why some of us is here. You know what I'm saying? We fell from a higher realm and now we got to learn a lesson. Or I personally think that I was already chilling in the higher realms and somebody came in my room and was like, yo, you trying to volunteer and go to earth type shit because like, you know what I'm saying? Apparently some some souls don't know how to really live out this human experience. So we gonna need you to like try to be that example. And I'm like, bro, didn't y'all don't y'all have Jesus for this? Like, what's going on? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Um, but nah, they 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 already sent Jesus, but they apparently I guess they needed more people. So I feel like I was one of them souls or beings. I was up there chilling, minding their business. I was like, you know what? Okay, fine. I gotta try to be the example for. You know, some of some of my brothers and sisters. Some way, somehow, I got lost in the mix. <laughs> and pretty much I had to come here again. So who knows? That's reincarnation. You know what I'm saying? So I'm probably relearning a lesson that we all need to, to know anyway. But the point of what I'm saying is having the Christ consciousness and being able to just be on the journey um, and having a level of awareness is key. You know what I'm saying? And that is the, the guard particle. Your body will produce this. If you give your body enough time to, you know, self heal itself. For example, if you plan on like fasting, when you fast, your body is going into a mode of like, all right, cool. We ain't getting no more foreign substances. Whatever is in the body that's not good for the body, we turning on y'all and we getting rid of y'all. That's what the cells in your body does. Okay. So whether you know it or not, you literally are a multidimensional being and you have many yous living inside of you right now. You feel me? And if you're a guy, of course, you got your sperm cells swimming around and shit, getting ready, preparing for battle when, you know what I'm saying? When when it's time to deploy, wishing wishing one of you motherfuckers luck, okay? And the thing about it, another reason why I feel like, because I feel like most men or most, you know what I'm saying, beings have this God particle. I feel like there's a feminine side to it and then also a masculine side to it. But speaking like from the guy's perspective, like... Most guys kind of have this particle, but you don't give yourself a chance. You don't give yourself, I would say you don't give your body a chance to self-heal itself. So when you fast, when you go on see more attention, when you eat uh, fruits and some vegetables too, when you cut out meat for a little bit, bro, that's literally giving yourself a chance to raise not only your awareness, but your consciousness and change your uh, overall situation or like, you know, what I'm saying if there's a problem that you need to be solved um, or if there's something that like if you know you go to work and you're dealing with a certain individual and you're going to deal with their attitude, you have a level of uh, emotional intelligence where you don't go off like you usually would. You know, what I'm saying if you steady releasing Trust me, you're going to be very re reactionary. You're going to be very like in your root chakras. You feel me? So I feel like the body actually develops this substance within the pineal gland 
after a certain amount of time of a guy holding on holding on to their seed. There's been plenty of videos, articles on this. You guys can look it up. But um, that's what it really feels like. You know what I'm saying? I get to a point where I just feel just um, a sense of clarity. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes, I go a lot, I can have fun with this. You know, I could have a lot of fun with having the mental clarity. This actually gives me a chance to be uh, creative and kind of use my uh, the energy from my sacral chakra, which is, you know, the energy to, you know, create. Well, that's technically that's the sexual energy, but you can transmute that into, you know, what I'm saying working out, um, drawing. I don't know if you niggas like to draw and shit, if anybody likes to do tattoos and stuff, but that's actually a good way to kind of uh, transmute that energy. If you're already in your Christ consciousness, you can use the energy of imagination. You know what I'm saying? Imagination low-key can get you far in life. Just because you're an adult and you don't think about it that way as using your imagination is a good thing or, oh, it's just for like kids. Like, nah, that's how you can visualize and manifest your future just by simply having an imagination. So when I have a lot of imagination, or when I have a lot of times to put myself in scenarios when I'm talking to God, it just makes me, it feels like my soul is like stretching. Because God knows me. God knows you. You get what I'm saying? I feel like being able to have that experience, that's that's like kind of experiencing the God, the God particle. Um, and I feel like the longer you're on a spiritual journey, the more you're doing the spiritual work, the more you're eating healthy. And you're fasting as well because you do have to give give yourself, you got to give your body time to uh, to recruit itself. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we have to work to digest this foreign substance. So, like, if you're eating something processed, then you know you're probably going to have some type of gas. Or if you're eating something that has dairy or whatnot, like, you might get the runs or some shit, right? So, what happens is you're, the cells within your body is literally stressing your body out. So even when you are eating your favorite foods, you could be experiencing that endorphin high because sometimes, most of the time when you eat, I know, for example, if you eat like candy, chocolate, Snickers, things of that nature, there are certain receptors within your brain that's being activated. And those same receptors are the same ones that are being activated when you're having sex. So sometimes we can like, just by eating whatever, our favorite candies, cupcake, whatever the fuck you like to eat, and then along with the chicken wings and all that. When you eat all this stuff, you feel good while you're eating it. But when you're done, you feel bloated. You feel like, <sighs> I'm like you know what I'm saying? You feel like you just want to chill. And depending on what the fuck they put in the food, because sometimes they be pumping growth hormones in, in the chickens and shit. And that's why there's a lot of estrogen within the, chi within the chicken, which gets into your body. You know, it's not good if you're a guy. When we eat, you're stressing your body out. And when you stress your body out, you don't get the optimal sleep. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you experience brain fog. You start to forget shit. And nine times out of ten, you're going to get to a point of, you know, just unconsciously releasing your seat. Like, you're going to consciously do it, but you're not even, like, aware of, like, what's going on within the body. And then you wait until the next morning until you feel better. And then you start the same process over and over again. So whether you know it or not, just by eating your favorite foods, you're actually stressing your body out. <laughs> your body wasn't made, our bodies wasn't made to consume as much food as we do, whether you know it or not. So, and that's that's big, bro. Like if you eat a lot, if you, and I, I'm not trying to say just because you fat, that don't mean you got the God particle because everybody is different. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's a weight thing because you can still be fat and and uh, fast as long as you can actively fast. You know, from time to time, like you you'll be fine. So it's not really like a weight thing, but just in general, you want to uh, keep a level of awareness about what you put in your body and how you manage your body, and that way, you know, what I'm saying the God particle in you within you know, what I'm saying within it within your DNA can be activated, and you can work more efficiently. Y'all know I'm big on water. I always say drink your water every day. The more research that I'm learning 
or the more research that I'm doing is the more that I'm finding out about like, y'all know about H2O, right? That's water, right? Well, there's something called H3O2, if I'm not mistaken. And that's pretty much double the hydrogen. Um, that's pretty much, yeah, double the hydrogen like in, in a liquid. So H3O, this liquid or water, this is actually the water that we should be drinking as human beings. Since I've gotten coconut water, because H, you can find H3O in pretty much any fruit, but the top two fruits that I will go for is cucumbers and coconuts. So coconut water or water from cucumbers is probably the best type of water you can put within your body. It has a better chemistry bond to your cells and to your blood cells as well. It opens up like different neuro neurotransmitters within your brain. It's in unison with your body. Like I'm not saying that I'm going to be like a fruitarian or anything like that, but um, we're living in a day and age where, you, where like, even though like, cause I ain't gonna hold you. I want to invest into a farm. I want to get my own farm and shit like that. But we still live in a day and age where we can get certain things. Like we can get coconut water. It might be tampered with a little bit, but I say, you know, if you can afford it, start to put that in your diet. That will just uh, hydrate you a whole lot more. Uh, and, you know, do the research yourself. Like, you'd be surprised. Or if you can't get H3O, if you can't get no coconuts or whatnot, you can still get water. But the simple hack, just add lemon or lime to it. It's just that simple. You know, we are electrical beings. Remember that we are electrical beings, so we have to put life into our body. It don't make sense charging yourself by going on semen retention, but you're not putting life within the body as well. You know what I'm saying? It's going to mess up the chemistry of you trying to get back to Christ consciousness because that's exactly what's happening. It's weird and it feels uncomfortable trying to change. And I don't want to go back to like the individual that I uh spoke with today um she was saying she doesn't want to like limit herself or deprive herself of you know having the human experience and i get that but there has to be some level of like um control and organize being organized and having some type of rules personal rules they don't necessarily have to be rules from the government but like you have your own personal rules as to you know how you're going to manage your energy and how you're going to live from time to time, you know, we, we are going to be human. We are going to want to eat whatever we want to eat. Or as being men, we will have the urges. And that's actually what I wanted to bring up. Talking about like uh, dealing with the urge while being on a high streak and having eating super healthy. Not going to lie to you, bro. I can make a separate video about this topic. Okay. But dealing with your urges while being on a high streak is crazy. It is difficult. I ain't gonna hold you. For me, it might be very easy for you, but I'm gonna keep it a bean. It's just not easy. And sometimes the reason why it's not easy sometimes is because like now it's like you manifest fast. You manifest in different situations, different women into your realm of reality or, you know, a specific somebody that you think you didn't know you had a chance to be with and now all of a sudden like they're gonna be in your fucking face. Um... And sometimes there's also different instances of like saying like, well, shit, even if I was to release my seed, well, I could bounce back. Like you kind of have that bounce back mentality as to like, man, shit, I'm like, I'm going to be good. But the truth of the fact of the matter is you got to give yourself seven to 30 days minimum if you restart. You know what I'm saying? And also, too, I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh, everybody should start doing this. But be realistic with yourself. As a guy, be realistic with yourself, bro. Once every like two to three months. Yeah, once every two months, I say, uh, I meant to say, um, is when you should probably be releasing. And it's nothing to do seven days, seven to 30 days. You feel me? You don't have to go crazy and go the whole year. Live your life. That's all I say. I'm not going to tell you exactly what to do, but I'm going to tell you to live your life. Um, sometimes when you live your life, you can learn different lessons, different, um, and get different messages. 
And I'm not saying put yourself in a bad position or a difficult position where you where it's hard to bounce back from. But um, make sure you don't make sure when you're on Seymour attention, you don't put yourself in prison. You don't put yourself in a mental prison. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to still be creative. You still want to go out there. You still want to go to work. You still want to work out. You know what I'm saying? You still want to talk to different females from time to time. Unless you're on monk mode. If you're on monk mode, all you should be doing is meditating, planting your feet out in the ground, uh, eating healthy, and doing as much research as possible. Because I'm telling you right now, that information that you research and that, that you learn about yourself um, is going to come in handy, dog. Like, in, in real life situations. Like, for sure. And, and again, this is all going back to the uh, Christ consciousness, bro. The more you have uh, awareness about, like, what you've been through, about, you know, even with the mental, uh, I would call it a mental relapse. Like, sometimes, you know, we're so worried about the physical relapse, but, you know, I feel like sometimes we have a mental relapse, you know what I'm saying? And that's where we loot, we kind of go below our Christ consciousness and... um go back into human form and then just start being reactionary. And usually that happens when sometimes it could be done by a succubus. It could be done by, you know, lust. It depends. Or it could be done by you saying like, well, shit, I'm going to eat this meal this Friday. I'm just going to have this pizza from Pizza Hut and I'm just going to kick it back and I'm going to chill and I'll be back uh, Monday to, you know, go back on my, you know, alkaline diet, for example. And one day turns into two days. Monday comes around. You don't do shit on Monday. Just start eating whatever. Trust me. I'm only saying that because I'm. This is this happened to me from experience. You know what I'm saying? So um, yeah, pretty much raising my awareness and just understanding like there's gonna be patterns and cycles. Uh, there's certain things that um, I'm going to attract. So I just have to be aware of. Uh, how I react and how I, you know, just control and maintain my energy. Um, it does get easy at some points of time. You're going to just feel like uh, you're in Zen mode, you know, Mamba mentality. Um, D Wade in the fourth quarter, his rookie season against the Charlotte uh, Hornets. You, you're going to be in that type of mode, you know what I'm saying? Um so just enjoy the ups and downs, bro. Just enjoy like when you're on the high street and then when you're feeling down, don't be down for too long because, you know, things are going to change. Things will always change. It will always fluctuate. You know what I'm saying? Um, this journey is unpredictable. Sometimes it is predictable. And sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You'll know something is coming. You know something's about to happen and it still happens. And it's just like you have to live with that, you know? But it's not always going to be like that for the rest of your life. Trust and believe. So, uh, but with that being said, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Today was difficult trying to start my video. Try to do one this morning. Wasn't able to do that. Try to do one a couple hours ago. Wasn't able to do that. And I almost didn't do one just now. But, you know, I, I, I just, I'm feeling good right now. And I'm feeling like, you know. Again, anybody could access this God particle, bro. You know, anybody can do it, bro. And it's all a matter of a combination of you having the life force energy, you giving yourself time, giving your body time to self-heal itself literally by fasting. Sometimes, sometimes you may not have, like, it's good not to eat for at least 24 hours. Try, uh, try like, you know, doing it maybe every six hours. You know what I'm saying? Start small. Once you give yourself a chance to get back to God mode, fasting. Uh, now, if you if you like, if you got a very fast metabolism, then that's totally different. Like you know, I'm gonna need you to eat. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't want you to look malnourished. But even the people who are slim, at some point in time, like fasting, I would say once every four or five months type shit is kind of good. Um, cause again, you're detoxing your body and your, your, your cells are returning back to its original state, which is the God particle that we originally have. A lot of the processed foods and a lot of the stuff that they spray in the air, um, gets into our body 
And that's why it seems as though like we don't have like quote unquote superpowers or we or sometimes we have mental brain brain fog. It's not that we don't have access to our brain and because they, they say we we only operate with ten percent of our brain. I don't believe that. I feel like we operate with a hundred percent of it. We just consciously don't know how we fucking do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I think it's just a it's a miracle. Like out of what fifty million. 50 billion uh, sperm cells, my nigga, like, use the, use the nigga that made it out of all them sperm cells. If that ain't saying that you have the God particle, cool, I don't know what is. Because you done made it this far. So anybody that's alive right now, bro, like, you know how much motherfucker, bro, you had to go through so much shit just to get to the egg and just to develop into a human and to the person that you are right now. That's a miracle in itself. So... Keep that in mind, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're a walking miracle. Whether you, whether you think you don't, uh, I don't, nobody knows this is me, bro. You're a miracle. You're here. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, tap into your energy. Do what you got to do. Tap into that God particle. Allow yourself to rise to that Christ consciousness. Anybody can do it. Give yourself seven to 30 days of not releasing your seed. Drink H3O, which is basically coconut water or uh, get you some cucumbers. You know what I'm saying? Juice, the cucumbers. You know what I'm saying? You can mix it with your favorite food to whatnot. And um that that alone will change your your uh I wouldn't say it will change, but like it will help you manage your emotions a, a lot more better. Cause even when you feel mad, you won't be in that mad emotional state for too long. You know what I'm saying? Like you know how to feel that emotion and let that go. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, it's being Born Moody Star. If you uh, resonate with this video, leave a like. Um, drop a bag on Cash App to support the team. I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace.